Greetings from the Apocalypse. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about burnishers and why I think they should be registered as deadly weapons and why I don't really recommend them so much for beginners when you set. Okay, so this is why I'm not a huge fan of using the burnisher on, on settings. Now, if you've just beginning and you never heard of this, let me explain. Uh, the burnisher is a, cur a curved, oh, and there's also straight, like so. They're a metal tool, and basically they're used to smooth. Um, that was pretty much the traditional method for cleaning up your settings, is you would take this, you know, and you would rub it on the edge of your bezel, and it'll leave a shine, which is all very nice. And in general, I'm a huge fan of low-tech tools. A lot of times you get much better control um, than you do with things that, you know, like plug in. Uh, and I almost always think you should start with like, you know, just like the handheld thing that isn't like a power tool to really learn how to control it. But here's the whole problem with the burnisher. Now, um, I have a little engraving ball here and I've got uh, a ring in there and a setting, which is already set, but pretend you don't know that. And I'm in the process of finishing it. Um, but regardless of what you're doing this in, if you don't have a graving bolt, it doesn't matter. It's in a vise, it's stuck to a piece of wood, whatever it is. Um, if you're right-handed, um, you just switch it around if you're left-handed, you're gonna be taking your tool like this and you're gonna be taking it and you're gonna be rubbing against the bezel to smooth it out, right? So then your left hand is gonna be over here, either holding your wood block or engraving ball, whatever it is. Now, this metal is very, very smooth and shiny, right? And you're gonna be pressing hard. So what's gonna happen? The first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna slide over here and you are going to impale your left hand. And I mean, ask any jeweler and they'll kind of laugh like, oh, it's a rite of passage. I don't think getting a hole in your hand should be a rite of passage. I'm just, nope, that's where I draw the line. Um, Anyone I know that uses the burnishers, always like, oh yeah, the first few times, and every now and then you'll slip and really gouge yourself. Now, I don't mean to be like a big sissy and all, you know, little bumps and bruises won't kill anybody, but this thing is really sharp. I mean, you could literally impale your hand, you know? I mean, it's, even for such a simple thing, the way it's set up and the way that you're applying the force, it pretty much guarantees that eventually you'll slip and what's there, your hand. I mean, it's gonna happen. So uh, when I was first learning and I observed this, I thought, wow, that looks shitty. Like, I don't want to poke a hole in my hand. You know what I mean? So I like to use the flex shaft. Um, I've done a previous video uh, using the Swifty one step wheels to polish up. And some of you may be thinking like, oh, well, fuck you, because I don't have a flex shaft at home and all I have is a burnisher. So, okay, fine. If all you have is a burnisher, that's okay, but I want you to start taking more precautions. Um, for example, on your left hand, I think like some kind of thick leather glove, you know, so that if you slip, you know, it might hurt a little, but you're not literally poking a hole into your hand. Um, that's what I would recommend. And there's other things in jewelry making that you use burnishers for, sometimes you use them to close tubes and stuff like that. And that's fine because normally you're not setting yourself up to like push really hard with your left hand in the way, which is exactly what you're doing when you're setting. So if you have to use a burnisher and that's your only choice, okay, fine. But I want you to do something for your left hand. I want you to get like a thick leather glove or something so that you can put it on your hand and know that that way you're not gonna impale yourself. So here's just a little close up of what I'm talking about. You know, you're using this to rub against here, against the edge, which will shine it up and everything. Sooner or later, you will slip and literally your left hand is right there and you will put a hole in yourself. And you know, I'm not too much of a whiner about a little burn or scratch now and then, but that could actually be a kind of serious injury. So I don't want that, okay? So if you're gonna use a burnisher, use a thick leather glove on your other hand. Otherwise, use the flex shaft and keep your left hand in one piece with no holes, which is what I prefer. So please, when you're setting and you're cleaning up, I want you to either use the flex shaft to clean up or I want you to take some real precautions to protect your left hand because you could really put a hole in yourself with this thing and I, I don't like that. So please don't. That's all for today.